Hey folks, Degenerate here, Charlie Ryan. Clownfest 9, fucking 9 of these bastards already. Just gonna do a quick studio tour type thing and we'll have a look at some shit here. And just slate everything I own because it's all a piece of shit, isn't it? <laughs> okay, what have we here? Uh, Cyclone Analogic TT303 Base Bot. And um, here we are totally ripping off the rolling. TB303 with a lovely little synth for those acidy type noises. It barks a lot, it's cool. And when paired with one of these, rat pedal for distortion sounds fucking really good, yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah, man. Ah, uh, this here is one of Behringer's TD3MO. MO stands for modded out. And what they did was basically put a dying budgie inside here. And when you turn one of these, goes chirp 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 and anyone that has one knows exactly what I'm talking about so yeah piece of shit <laughs> um, this here is an M Audio Venom synth which has a couple of half decent sounds on it would you want to use the the digital editor that comes with it in your DAW or whatever to really get the grips with it because there's not that many controls on the front panel I know it's covered in shit now, it's actually just doubles up with the really expensive mini keyboard for me, I keep saying that. Also it uses one of the worst terms in the world, uh, virtual analog, which is a fucking oxymoron and I should kill the fucker that came up with it, but yeah, that's the best. Um, over here we have a little TV, which is super important if you like TV. Um, underneath it is a micro free. That's what she said last night, huh? Um, yeah, so that's... That's a tidy little synth there with the new update for that. It's uh, really fucking good. It opens up a lot of more things in it. Talking shit here. Um, if you have one, up, up, upgrade their firmware to the latest edition. It's some really good stuff. Um, nice little digital synth. It doesn't pretend to be anything as much. Uh, APC Party for controlling Ableton. It's the Mark II one. Um, it's a harmonica inside in this. Harmonious. Kaz. Uh, yeah, um, over here, there's the Behringer Neutron, which is a semi-modular fucking whatever. Um, you can get some really good sounds out of it. Uh, it's fucking mad, really. Um, it's good for fucking more experimental music, but you could almost <laughs> just say, yeah, it's shit. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, kind of is, kind of isn't. It's an acquired taste, but if you want some far out kind of sound and shit, um, definitely go for one of those, those at the price, they're fucking well worth it. Pull the camera up there, Charles! And, oh yeah, it's, while we're here, staring at it, it is the Adam A7X monitors. Sound. They are paired with an M Audio 12 inch sub. My sneakers! Mm, uh, oh! You know those fucking things. Yeah. Microphone! Which I'm not using now, I'm using the phone mic. Hello. Behringer RD9 go bump skiddy bump skiddy bump skiddy. Um, SE02. Quite nice little synth from Roland. Very fat sounding analog fucking pads and leads. It's good. Behringer TD32X. Um, in fairness, I'll give them their credit where they're. They're, um, they sound pretty good when you do not have the distortion switched on. When you turn it on, it's a fucking budgie city again. You know, so they've got, that's why it's yellow. I fucking love budgies. So. <laughs> yeah, smiley budgies. Smiley budgie, but you fucking gangster. Um, smiley budgie. <laughs> Org MS20. Um, you probably know I've had that for fucking years, but I've got that recently. The SQ1 school. <laughs> That's just a secret for a part of the SQ. What a lot. Bevinger. Sound card here. I just use that for fucking taking out on the road if I'm going down DJ gigs later or kind of whatever. Um, and it all goes through here then. This is our Soundcraft um, MTK12 multi tracking via USB. 12 inputs, outputs, whatever. Channels. Loads of knobs, knob city, and here we have another monitor. Because believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, you are supposed to have two of them. Buy two, get none free. None free? 
and the priests are incarcerated. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Here we have some Super Mario mystery item box. Uh, and this force essential for every studio is Death Metal Batman. The uh, Batman's into Cannibal Corpse now. Um, yeah, that's all the electronic shit. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, there's a uh, thingy in there. What do you even call these fucking Exox Zox box? Zip Zox Zox box? One of those things. But um, it needs a um, bit of work. I'm gonna send that to get fixed very soon. A bunch of guitars and shit back here. That's actually the first thing. Sit or stay there! Sit or stay there! Are you ever? Are you ever owned? <laughs> Um, some shitty Yamaha music station. Oh, oh yeah, that is an AK-47 guitar. Which is pretty fucking essential shit really, isn't it? You know? Marvin the Martian headphones. Which were a present. Because when we originally started making music, me and my friend Colin, we were so broke, we were using a set of cheap Marvin the Martian headphones as a microphone. Yeah, and a friend of mine knew about that and got me those as a present, as a reminder to stay humble. Fuck him, I'm huge now. Ha ha ha. Oh, just a flying asshole here. Flying asshole. Motherfucker. So that's about it, guys, really. Um, yeah, there's some fucking sound. Misdirection plates, that's what I call them, because shit used to bounce around from bass trap in the corner. Bass trap! Sounds like an, an album from an early Bass trap! Bass bass trap. Uh, yeah, so. Everybody's probably getting motion sickness from the way I'm filming this fucking shit. So I'll bid you adieu and enjoy the rest of the day. Bye bye.